So if anyone has any issues with it, tough Is Vanessa Bryant hiding a secret boyfriend? Recently, a blind item came out that suggested that she might be in a relationship with a new man. But who is he? And why is she keeping him away from the spotlight? Let's break it down. On July 12th, Crazy Days and Nights posted a blind item. It read, the widow had a ticket for her never seen in public before boyfriend, but she chickened out at the last minute for the big event last night. There were a couple of people the post could have been about. Some thought that it could have been about Marie Tillman, but most agreed that it had to be about Vanessa Bryant. There were a bunch of clues as to why people thought this. For one, the blind post talked about a big event that happened the night before, and there was a pretty big event that Vanessa attended on July 11th. She went to the ESPYs, and she definitely did not bring a man to the event. It looks like she actually ended up taking her daughter with her instead. So this would make sense with what the blind item said. Maybe Vanessa was initially going to bring her secret boyfriend, but at the last minute, she changed her mind. And she asked her daughter to come with her instead so that it didn't look strange that she was at the event alone. Obviously, this is just a theory. We don't actually know for sure if the blind item was about Vanessa. But if it was, that raises the question, why would she chicken out at the last minute? There are a couple of options and theories. It could all have something to do with the type of event she went to. The ESPYs are a yearly award show produced by ESPN. People get an ESPY for their athletic and sports related achievements. As Kobe Bryant's widow, it makes sense why Vanessa was invited. But this could also be why she chose not to bring a date in the end. The thing is, Kobe actually had quite a history with the ESPYs. Essentially, sports broke it down. For one, Kobe had several of these awards himself, but there's more. The July 2024 event actually took place at two separate venues. The awards themselves were held at the LA Dolby Theater, but afterwards, there was actually a concert that people could attend. Sierra performed after the ESPYs, and she performed at the Crypto Arena. Now, the Crypto Arena is actually closely tied to Kobe, too. The venue itself is known under several other names. One of those is the Staples Center. The Staples Center was the home of the Los Angeles Lakers, a team that Kobe spent his 20-year career with. The venue is even sometimes referred to as the house that Kobe built. So Sierra's concert after the ESPYs was held at a venue that's closely connected to Kobe. This could be the potential reason why Vanessa didn't bring a date to the event. If she truly is dating someone new, it's possible that she considered bringing him along to the ESPYs, but in the end, she decided against it. The whole night must have been a huge reminder of Kobe to her, and she must have known that would most likely be the case. So maybe she thought that this wouldn't be the best time and place to introduce her new boyfriend to the world. She might even feel like it could have been seen as potentially disrespectful. So maybe that's why she decided against it. However, there are still some other theories about why she might have changed her mind about bringing a date to the event. One is that the boyfriend is just a normal guy. If he isn't used to the spotlight, maybe Vanessa thought that the ESPYs could be too much for him in their first public outing as a couple. But there are other options too. Another possibility is that there is something controversial about this guy. It's been four years since Kobe sat passed away. It's clear that his passing really affected Vanessa. She was grieving him for a very long time and she probably will keep grieving him to some extent forever. But at the same time, four years does feel like enough time for her to be able to peacefully move on to a new relationship. If she was dating someone, it wouldn't be all that shocking and most probably wouldn't find it disrespectful to Kobe's memory either. She's allowed to move on with her life eventually. So since it has been so long, it would make sense for her to start dating again. Most people would probably not be super shocked if she she did have a boyfriend, so why hide him? Why did she allegedly chicken out? Is it because there's something about the guy that we might not like? Has he done something controversial? Who is this supposed mystery man? Some people actually have their theories. One popular theory is that Vanessa is in a relationship with Rob Polinka. Rob is a basketball executive and he was always close to the Bryants. He actually used to be Kobe's agent. He was really close with him. Kobe and Vanessa even asked him to be their daughter Gianna's godfather. So as you can imagine, it would be pretty controversial if Rob and Vanessa got together. He used to be close with Kobe, so it would be shocking to see him date his wife. This could explain why Vanessa might have backed out of bringing him along to the ESPYs as her date. However, it doesn't seem like Vanessa and Rob are actually Actually dating. If anything, they're probably just friends. As far as we know, Rob is actually married, and supposedly he and his wife are really happy together. So it seems pretty unlikely that he's dating Vanessa. Another name that people mentioned as a possible secret boyfriend of Kobe's widow was Fernando Vargas. According to TikTok user The Flower Girl OC, a while ago there was a rumor going around that the boxer lived in Vanessa's guest house. However, Fernando also seems to have a wife, so this theory is most likely also not true. The reality 
possibility is that we have no idea who this mysterious boyfriend of Vanessa's could actually be. We can't even know for sure if she is actually seeing someone new. The blind item could have been wrong or it could have been about someone else. Vanessa seemed to have a really good time at the ESPYs and she didn't shy away from honoring Kobe either. She even shared a photo from the event in which she was seen posing next to a photo of Kobe. She posted it on her Instagram and tagged Kobe's account. She even included a little red heart emoji. Would she really be doing all of this if she wasn't single anymore? Especially if her boyfriend was originally supposed to come to the event with her? Wouldn't that be kind of disrespectful to him? On the one hand, she was just honoring her old love. But on the other hand, this could make it look to her alleged new partner like he would always come second to Kobe. So it's entirely possible that the blind item wasn't about Vanessa. Maybe she doesn't actually have a new man in her life that she's hiding from everyone. And she just wanted to go to the ESPYs to honor Kobe, spend time with her daughter Natalia, and watch her friend Sierra perform on stage. It's clear that Vanessa and Natalia had a great time at the concert. Vanessa even posted about it on her Instagram. She wrote that she was proud of Sierra and encouraged her to keep doing her thing. Then she said that she and her girls had a lot of fun that night and she added that they all loved Sierra. So maybe this was always the plan for Vanessa. Maybe she was never actually going to bring her alleged mysterious boyfriend to the event. But what do you guys think about all this? Do you think Vanessa might be hiding a secret boyfriend? Or do you think the blind item wasn't about her? Let me know in the comments below.